Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. This is CMG Talk. This is Catherine Gallagher and thanks for joining me. So welcome. I should say welcome back, but then you've not been anywhere. Maybe you have been somewhere. I'm saying welcome back because I was away for a few days holiday. Um, and I don't know whether you've missed me. I've missed you. Okay. Uh, I haven't posted um, because, as I say, I've been away for a short break and I thought I would come back and just check in and see how you're all doing. The reality is that the breakaway I had was great, but it was far too short. Now, how many times do we say that? Don't we go away and we go, it was never long enough, unless it was a bad holiday. But this one wasn't. This one was a good one. The only thing was the flights. I have to say, my flights were not good. <laughs> and that's unusual because usually I have quite good flights, but no, no, it was not a good experience. Right. We went um we went by jet to and usually they're quite good for the no, I don't know the flights itself. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, it wasn't great. Right. And the room is the room got worse, you know. I mean I'm a small person, right? I am. I'm only about five foot one, right? But I had no room for my legs. What was that about? <laughs> I couldn't stretch my legs. It was really bad. I ended up, you know, oh my goodness. <laughs> anyway, I came back, but I've remembered the whole experience, not just the flights, right? I didn't allow that to take over the experience itself and the people I was with. It was good, right? I enjoyed the holiday. The The weather was lovely, in case you're wondering. Right, it's been 30, but up to 40 degrees. Oh my goodness, I've not had 40 degrees, you know, heat, you know, certainly that I can remember, right? That was, and now I have worked and done trainings and people have talked to me about 40 degrees as their normal, right? So I know some people may be listening and saying that's normal for us, right? But I'm from Scotland, <laughs> So I went from 30 to 40 degrees on holiday and came back to 12. You can imagine the transition there. <laughs> I got off the plane and it was the early hours of the morning and I was like, oh, welcome back to Scotland. Here we are. It's 12 degrees. I thought, this is a bit cold. And then somebody asked me, did, did, did you get a tan? No. <laughs> I was away for a week. Right? I'm very fair skinned. No, I didn't tan. <laughs> um, so, but I did benefit from it. Uh, and yes, I enjoyed it. And yes, I did miss you. I did think about you. But not that much I posted. Uh, somebody said that to me. You didn't, you didn't miss us that much. You didn't post. That's true. But I was thinking about it and I was thinking about what I would post about. Uh, but I'm not just posting a holiday because you'll be like, what, what's your posting about a holiday for? Um, I was had an interesting experience though. I was walking through this hotel resort we were in um, and it was really nice. Uh, it was lovely. I've been before. Right? I've actually been before and it was lovely. Um, and yeah... Uh, I saw this young man now, maybe he's mid thirties, early forties, right? Now that's young, right? Okay, and he was in this kind of lounge bar area, right? Now if you picture this, it was oh, I don't know, um, it was all kind of wood. Uh, it was, you know very open air right and it, it was actually an African scene right? that's the whole picture that was the whole um, theme of the hotel right so there was bamboos there was trees there was palms um, and it was all keen you know it was lovely right it was really nice so this guy sitting in this you know actually the door Right, the 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 door, and he he was parked on this high seat with a table, with his work tablet, and 
he was sitting with his shorts and his shirt on. And I walked past him and I saw him there on his tablet. And he was looking out. And then I realised that he was looking out to this beautiful family. Right? And I kind of did a double take. You know that way you do a double take? Right? And I know this is maybe people are saying, what's unusual about this? Um, but it just seemed really strange. Um, strange for me. Right? Okay. He, 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 there was this young family. Right? And it looked like he was a partner. It might be his wife. I don't know. Um, and these young kids. And they were all at the pool. The kids were in and out the pool. And they're trying to show him what they're doing. And he's sitting on this. And this bar stool is about maybe two or three metres away, right? And they're jumping on down and he, uh, the, the partner's looking round and, you know, and and he's on this tablet, right? And I, I couldn't help myself, right? You're probably saying, don't do it, Catherine. It's not your business, right? Leave them alone. But I said to him, it looks as if there's more fun out there than what you're doing down in that in that tablet. I said, "Is that not where you're supposed to be?" And he just looked at me, and he said, "He said, oh, I know, but work doesn't stop." I said, "Exactly. Work is work. Work will carry on, but you're not here for them, and for you, and to be." T- together with them is that not why you're here is this not a vacation a holiday is this not you taking time out to show them that you want to be with them why are you sitting on a tablet I said the sun's out the sun is shining (laughs) the sun's out and they're waiting for you they're waving to you they're calling on you and you're on a tablet now just to give you the picture right I had been around the resort. I was walking around the resort and I saw him right there. And I had walked around this resort. And it must have been about an hour, maybe longer. And he'd been sitting there for I don't know how long. And he stopped. And I could have told me it's none of your business. Right? I know that. I could have said it's none of your business. But he was kind of looking at me and laughing. And he, he said to me, he said, I'm quite bad for doing this. And I said, well, then stop. Just change. Stop. Right? You can say, like, this really strange lady told me to stop. <laughs> he said, he said, I said, it's like you need someone to tell you. It's okay to stop. I said, this, you, just stop. Right? There's nothing that you need to be doing on that tablet right now. Nothing. But out there, that's where you're meant to be. Go and spend time with your family. I said, they, they need you, they deserve you, and you deserve to be there with them. Because that memory, those memories out there, you'll never get back again. I said, if you do need to be on the tablet, give it like an hour a day maximum. But this isn't it. By the poolside. Right? And I looked round, he, he said to me, I said, boundaries, <laughs> boundaries. He said, you do this for a living? I said, yes. He said, it sounds as if you know what you're talking about. I said, thanks very much. <laughs> I laughed. And I said, but you don't have to listen to me. I'm just saying, 30 years, you don't have to listen to me. And, I'm, and he was laughing. And as I walked away, I looked around and he slapped the, ta- he slapped the tablet down and he got up and he walked off and he went straight through to talk to them. And then I was looking at him to say, how, how did this happen? And I, and I just shrugged him in. Sometimes it takes a stranger. <laughs> sometimes it takes someone to say, and people sometimes come to me and they say, you know, do you know, Catherine, you know, my, my family have been saying this to me. You know, everybody, you know, has been saying this to me, but it sounds different coming from you, right? And sometimes that's it. it it's We hear sometimes something that other people, people that we love, people that care about us, people that know us, Right, I've been telling us, been trying to tell us, but we won't hear it, don't want to hear it, we're not ready to hear it. But then all it takes is a stranger, right, or a professional, right, you know, someone else, 
you know, to tell us or to share it or to observe that we suddenly, it's like we come out of this trance and we go, okay, and we're ready and we're willing to hear it and see it. Suddenly we give ourselves permission to see it. And I guess, well, I know that that's what was happening. I could see this man was not looking happy. Right? He looked miserable on this tablet. And I was like, you don't have to be here. Right? You can be out there having fun. Right? Now I know that if you if you really wanted, if you really wanted to be on the tablet, he would have stayed in his room. He wouldn't have been sitting by the poolside. That was his way of trying to be part of and engaging with them. But you can't fully engage, you know, if you're not mindfully present, fully in the moment and being actually there. Right? And it could be that maybe he was there, maybe he had sunstroke, maybe but it it wasn't that and I could see it wasn't that. Right? I could see that he he would keep looking up at them and he was obviously observing them, but he wasn't really there with them and he was really getting distracted. Um, and obviously when I turned around and he slapped the laptop down and he walked out, I thought, there you go. Whether it makes a difference, whether he, you know, that's not anything that I need to think about. I have no, you know, control of. But I guess the message I'm making here is that often we get, we get caught up in these unhealthy habits, right? We don't give ourselves permission to be fully present and to be in the moment and to switch off and enjoy and relax and to give ourselves, you know, that time to be able to have fun, yeah? And if we don't invest in ourselves and we don't take care of ourselves, then we store up problems for our health, physically, mentally, emotionally, and psychologically. And we know that. A rested mind, right, is a healthy body. We need to look after ourselves and take that responsibility and ownership. And I wonder if, if you're listening to this, do you feel that you have a good balance? Do you feel that you do take care of your health? Are you able to switch off? Whether you're still working, whether you're looking for work, maybe you're in retirement. Are you enjoying your life, making the most of your life? Or is it like each day is just another day? It's the same old, same old. Do you wake up thinking, right today, what am I going to do today? How am I going to get the best out of this day today? Or do you wake up feeling it's just another day and it's drudgery and oh, it's just one day pales into the other day? You see, it's a mindset, isn't it? It's how we set the day, reset our mind. It's how we choose to look at things. We can give ourselves permission. That's what that gentleman did. He gave himself permission. It wasn't about me. This was about him giving himself permission to put that laptop down, to go out there and be with his family. He got into this unhealthy habit where he felt that whatever he was doing, whatever he needed to do was so important and that he was doing the right thing. He was bringing his family on holiday. Right? You know, they wanted a holiday, they needed a holiday. And that was him doing, you know, I'm giving you a holiday. What more do you expect? Well, they expected him to be part of it. I think he wanted, obviously, to be part of it. Otherwise, he wouldn't have put the laptop down and he wouldn't have went out there. When we get into habits... Right? And people get into habits because they lose sight of what matters. We get into habits because of different things. Sometimes we you know, retreat back into ourselves for safety. 
for comfort because we're scared. But if we're not prepared to start looking at different, better, healthier ways of doing things, we do ourselves a disservice. We're not living our life to the best and to the fullest. We're not giving ourselves the best opportunity to live our life. We all deserve to be living a life in the happiest ways, the healthiest ways. Small changes make a big difference. I say that time and time again. We can make the one step, one step change and we just continue to focus on the steps and the changes that make the difference. And it's practice. It's about practicing and keeping doing something. It's easy to give up. It's easy to lose sight of what really matters. But if you focus on the things, write down the things that we really want to have. If you were to sit down and write down today four or five things that you would want to have happen in your life, there have to be big major things. They can be small things. And then if you look at what you're actively doing to purposely make those things happen, And then if you were to look at the change that you could make, what action could you take to make these things happen? Making steps towards something sets the momentum. Whether it's reaching out to a professional to get expert advice, whether it's talking to someone to sort out and get a resolution because there's been miscommunication. Whether it's going out there, believing in yourself, gaining more qualifications or training. Whether it's putting together some way of being able to put forward your skill sets, it might be a CV, so that you can then put forward how you want to pursue what you desire through career. Whether you want to travel. We have people come to me and they have these goals and where they are and where they want to be seem poles apart. But when they sit down and they look at making that dream a reality, they start setting down how to do that. Over 22 years ago, I wrote that, you know, learn how to make your dream a reality and become successful. And and I help clients, you know, to actually formulate a plan to make that dream become a reality, their reality. And I've helped many, many clients do that just by sitting down and saying, okay, if you really want this, you really want this to happen, then what does it take? What's it going to happen? What needs to happen for you? And what do you need to be doing? Are you living your life towards that dream? Or is it something that's an idea? Is it only ever going to be a dream? There's nothing wrong with having dreams. We all need dreams. But if you want to make it real, you have to take the steps and live the steps. That's the difference. People have dreams all the time. It's human nature to have dreams. But if you really want those dreams to become reality, we have to live those dreams. We have to make the steps to make it become real. If you want to travel, then... You need to look at how to make that happen. If you want a relationship, then you need to look at how to make those steps become possible. We can all find relationships, but it's finding the right relationship. You need to be ready for it. You need to be open to stepping back and holding back till you find the right person. 
there's lots of different things that we want. But sometimes it's not what we need. And sometimes life doesn't give us everything. But if we want something bad enough, we can look at how to pursue it. We can look at how to pursue it. Sometimes life gives us things and it's different to what we expected. But if you can't see the value to it, we'll always feel as if it's not enough and it's not good enough. Not everybody gets everything they want. Sometimes people say to me, oh, I want everything. People tell me you can get everything in life. But the reality is life is about choices. We make choices all the time. We make decisions all the time that take us in different paths. That's what life is about. People say, oh, what if I make the wrong one? What if there isn't ever a wrong one? What if it's just you make a choice, you make a decision, and that's the path you take? (laughs) And what if we're always going to end up where we're going to end up? I don't know. (laughs) Right? Right? If we live through life thinking, oh, I don't want to make the wrong decision, we'll not make any decisions. That's why people procrastinate, because they always want to get it right. But what if we just have to make a decision? Sometimes, what it's all about, I think, you can tell me, oh, I don't agree with this, Catherine. Well, of course you can, right? But sometimes I think we... Focus on making things a particular way when sometimes things unfold, things happen. And good things come out of applying yourself or doing the best that you can to something. It's the balance I always talk about getting the right balance in life. And how do you know if you've got the right balance? As I started off talking about, you know, going on holiday and having that break and recharging and then about that gentleman and and how he was struggling to get that balance. It is about Maybe posing that question to yourself, do I have the right balance in my life? Am I getting the right balance? Okay, thanks for listening. Hopefully you've enjoyed listening to me today. Until next time, keep the conversation going. And if you do want to have a particular topic uh, for me to talk on, or you want to come on and have a chat while I'm talking, then let's make that happen. Thanks for listening. Take good care. And you can always message me. Okay, speak soon. This is Catherine Gallagher. Until next time.